Ciao beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. Happy Easter Monday. Hope you guys had a fabulous Easter. Been a really nice day for us. We've been to see Jamie's brothers and his wife, so it's been a really nice family day. Today we are going to be making some origami pouches with a little twist, because we like a little twist. Um, little coffee um, sachet presents, favours, gift as you want to call them. <laughs> Keep watching guys and I will see you very soon. Okay guys, welcome back to the desk. Today we are going to be making some coffees. Yes, Antonio makes opens a bar. <laughs> no, I'm joking. So today, whatever we do, and um, I got this idea because I've got quite a lot of, um, well, I'm Italian, of course, so I am a coffee drinker and I love coffee, but I'm also very difficult when it comes to coffee. Um, we got a Dolce Gusto espresso coffee machine at home. No, it's not an, an espresso. It's a coffee machine at home. Um, so we use that brand and I really, really like but I also like um, espresso, when I like, which is a, your little cup, traditional Italian coffee. But I'm also like Americano. I'm not a really big fan of latte. I do like latte, but sometimes I find latte very sweet. I do like my coffee very, like, with no sugar. Like, I need to taste the coffee. I need to taste that bittery dark, darkness, if it makes sense. <clears throat> and that will give me the kick to wake up and you know, go ahead with my, with my day. So what do you like your coffee, guys? Leave me a comment down below and let me know how you drink your coffee. I'm really, really interested to know. Um, yeah, no sugar, no milk, unless it's a latte. And then, of course, with latte, you get the milk on it. But normally, no. Sorry, i got beers. Let me just have. <clears throat> okay, I'm back. Yeah, just need a tap, a tap of water tap of water sip of water so today what we would do oh yeah so the inspiration was i received a lot of um coffee gift card recently for birthday so i thought that's a really nice present to somebody that they know that i'm a coffee drinker so if you don't want to gift gift cards if you want to gift for example some of these pouches i thought why don't we do some pouches that you can put this on to give us a little presence so i've got the right kit for this project and it's called coffee o'clock of course <laughs> it's one of my newest kit um it's got one two three four five six seven eight pages so just going to go through the pages and then we're going to do the project together so on the first page you've got all the mats the, the caps the mugs and all the lid so what I thought we'd do, and I'll do off camera because you don't want to see me fussy cut it, but you fussy cut that and that and you can just layer them. Okay, so you create your little paper cup. These are fabulous for like card making or little gift boxes. If you do like 3D gift boxes, super versatile. Then these are the same size as that. Okay. And also I've got you the sleeves, do you know, when you wrap them up so you don't burn your fingers. So I give you lots of different ones so you can play a layer them all up. As you can see, the colours of this kit are blue, mainly blue, pink, and a bit on orange, um, this really lovely teal colour. So with these few colours in mind, you can blend and mix them match all. On here, you've got some corrugated effect paper, so for you can cut it and again layer them so you can layer that on that or layer that on that on that on top of that and maybe use that lid so you can do anything that you want this would be really nice um cute mugs what you can do as well guys i was thinking and as i was designing if you print these pages on uh, vellum if you've got vellum at home when you print this you can print this on vellum and you've got your transparent sort of like effect um lid so you can use the last page where is it so i i gave you a, um a page with all paper straw so you can just simply fussy cut a sun cream 
so again where well, you can put the cream and put three print this on vellum you can put this on top of the cream and you get that effect on like it's like a proper cup i'm hoping i'm making sense but you know what i'm what i'm trying to say so you just layer them all up and then you've got a pink straw blue straw a floral straw and all the paper straw couple of tags and again some tags that you can just fussy cut and you can either print or write the name of the person so you can layer these pages also there is another page which is this one where the caps i've got a matching lid but nothing stop you to use this lid on that this lid on that this lid on that and this lid on that and vice versa so although they all match one another but you can mix and match you can use this for example this cup here with this lid and it will match because when i designed it i measured it so everything match can you see it's exact so those two matches so you can have this sort of lid which is your flat lid or you can have that 3d lid okay I'm sure you guys are going to have a lot of fun with these. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so you've got four pages of basically mix and match cups and lid. Also, you get two background, one in pink, one in blue, which we're going to use this today. You've got another background, which is your traditional coffee. And then I left this like this uh, on purpose. You can use it as a gift wrap. So, for example, if you want to make some envelopes or some little pouches, they matches. Can you see? It's exactly the same colour. So, that gold brownie colour. So, you can match that. And then you've got another page when you've got your croissants, your coffees, your sweets, your sugar, your ice, your biscuits, etc. So, yeah. So, very, very fun kit. So what I thought we we're going to do, going to show you how to make these pouches, these origami pouches. I already done a video a while ago, but we're going to do another one together. What I thought we would do, so the pouch goes inside, but what we're going to do, we're going to bend these and then we're going to use one of the mag to put it on top of it. So you get, you can still see the brand of it, but you can still see one of the, of the mag on top of it everything will make sense in just a moment so <laughs> the starting point let's get one of the paper right, get one of the background so if you want this to be on top we need to work on the reverse so we need to go we need to work when the white is facing us and the print is facing the desk okay so what you do guys you form a triangle so you just fold one of the side inwards and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side so we open this up and get the other triangle there So you get this sort of like cross effect. So what we need to do now, guys, you see this triangle on top, this triangle is going to come in was like phasing us. So the quickest way to do it is you guys pinch this side and that side, and you will see this triangle coming up. So pinch the, the tip. So it's always going to be perfectly sharp okay so you see this triangle it's gonna come up we need this so you get this sort of like triangle shape now each side of the triangle is got to align with the two sides of the triangle and this two rectangular that you're gonna see that's gonna form in a minute they've got to be as closer to one another as closer as possible Okay, so pinch slowly 
and pinch the rectangle slowly and we do the same on the other side so make sure that is aligned and then perfect literally don't know how it happened it never does <laughs> perfect so let me say that again so once you fold it this triangle here has got to come up so fold the two sides these two rectangles got to be as close as one another okay then on top on the bottom here you've got these two rectangular now you need to lift this corner up and this corner up like these and we do this little step now because what we need to do but we want to tell the paper how to fold but we need to fold this triangle inwards so open it back up and fold it on the other way around and the reason why we done that first so we get the perfect you see the perfect sharp score line and we do exactly the same on the other one okay so folding it up and then reverse it so you get this shape little tip you don't have to do it it will make your life easier if you glue this rectangular i know with origami we don't we don't glue but there is a crafty police so if you put some glue nobody's gonna tell you off and then if somebody's gonna tell you off send them my way and i'll pull them back in peace so that so put a tiny bit of glue literally just a tiny bit okay and then we need to fold this corner here this little tip to the main tip on top there and fold it in the same so get this corner there to the first corner there and that is your pouch so what you need to do you just need to put this inside the triangle that's inside the triangle and that's your pouch so you've got a pocket there and then the two pockets on each side so when you get your coffee um, sachet, you can either put it in there or there. It doesn't really matter what you want to do it. Now, because I like symmetry, I'm going to do it like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to fussy cut some of the of the cups and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my takeaway mug. Look how cute it is. Isn't it adorable? And with this, guys, you can create so many different combinations. So yeah, try that with the vellum and let me know. So print this mug, this lid on vellum and that will give you that sort of plastic transparent look. And then you can either put the cream or even the straw. You can still see the straw growing through, going through the coffee. So I just put some of uh, foam adhesive in there. So let's put the there. And then we, I just want to make sure that you can still see the brand so people know exactly what what they're gonna get okay so just press it down and there you go so that's your pouch this is paper you can print it on cardstock it's totally unnecessary if you want to but yeah so that as you go your little pouches okay so what am i gonna do guys am i gonna do a little um card with these mugs and uh, i'll show you what it will look like maybe a, a card that can go inside a pouch okay so that's a little card i made i've literally used the blue background one of the <laughs> one of the takeaway mugs I, I honestly guys i absolutely love them and i hope you will like them too because the good things and i'm sorry i bang on about it i love the fact that you can mix the match so I love the contrast with the blue or the floral with the geometric of the coffee beans. So yeah, right little message. And I have used, uh, don't ask me when it's, where it came from because I generally don't know. Now I had whatever done. Because I have tried, so I stamped that first and then I messed about with the coffee beans. I was like, mm, no, I don't like them. And I'm trying to use different gradations of stamps. I wasn't keen. So I left them kind of like I left them play. So I have this stamp set. I have them for a very long time. I do like the caffeine load. So I might, I might make another one with that. Uh, unfortunately, I lost that one. I don't know where it's gone. 
and of course but first coffee is what i have used on this card here now sorry guys i just would really want to find my coffee beans can you see them some anywhere now because they're transparent oh this is where you lose things oh, i'm so mad with myself anyway um no i can't see them no <laughs> <laughs> yeah so i have used one of these blocks and stamp on that so yeah so you get a little card that you can use as a gift card or as a voucher or anything that you want um you can glue use some glue dots to put on the back so the person knows that you can just pull it or she can just be pulled the card back and then you just put your coffee pouch and that is a little treat what do you guys think absolutely love it i hope you guys like it too now before we go don't go anywhere i just want to um want to send a literally a uh, quick shout out as you guys know i read all of your comments so today's videos were actually quite an inspiration from the lovely sally sally left a comment says that she really enjoyed the origami paper leaf um video and i'll put the comment on the screen she said that that was actually one of her favorite video so i thought actually i do like making pouches and origami origami myself so and i've done quite a lot of origami videos so i've put a link at the end of the video so you guys can go back and reference but if you wish to purchase this kit i will put the link down below and let me know guys let me know if you make these pouches if you make the uh, takeaway mugs i'm really looking forward to see your creations if you make them i've got a facebook group where myself and other crafter just give ourselves some ideas so it's a really interactive platforms um where you guys can share your project using the kits or not necessarily using the kits just share what you make and we give each other some inspiration because that is the beauty of crafting and that is the beauty of our community that i love 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 so much oh i find the beans Ta -da! <laughs> they were on the corner of my desk go there and don't move do you know what they should do they should do like a pin like a pin number so when you need to use them you need to put a pin and then that will the pin will flash or make a noise when you know that you need to put that back so you don't lose them that's an idea i don't know how much that will cost but anyway okay guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video please consider giving a really big origami thumbs up you really support the channel and the video to do it well on youtube because you tell the algorithm how much you love what i made really means a lot to me guys also there is a video i will put it somewhere here on the screen when we made together some origami butterflies hanging decoration so if you got if you guys like myself if you love origami please check it out this video um for more inspirations and ideas guys enjoy the rest of your day and until wednesday stay safe and well Mwah. bye